Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven, and we got an episode today of custom cards. A couple cards I came up with. Um, one may, might be broken. I doubt it, though. I, I think it's it's pretty fair. Um, Plague Gwent took down the really cool background that I usually put up, so you get to get to see my three-headed undead thing that I keep on my desktop. Uh, it, it looks like, too, it has a Nilfgaard logo in it, which is pretty cool. But, um, yeah, let's get into the cards. Uh, first one I made, uh, I haven't played Witcher 1 or 2, but I've heard people talk about the game that was in it before Gwent, the Dice Poker. So I figured I would put something in to reflect that. So this is what I came up with. It's a blank page. Oh, there he is. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. So I came up with, I think his name is Shir Shiradin. And in the game, I guess you could play him in dice poker. And from what I read, the best way to describe the dice poker is, it's like Yahtzee. So... This is what I came up with. You roll, and basically it's like Yahtzee values. If you get five of a kind, you boost this thing by 25. What are the odds of you getting that? Who knows? But uh, four of a kind, 20. Full house, 15. Um, big street, two through 26, 25. Uh, small straight, 20. Three of a kind, two of a kind, one pair. It's only going up 10, so it's only going to be 12 strength. But... If you can live the dream and your roll skills are on point, the way the roll would work too is it would just basically go to a screen like you would for Gaunter where you just show one card, but it would show the the five cards of just random cards with, you know, numbers that are one through, you know, five and it, or, well, six. Yeah, it'd be six. One through six. And you would, it would just flip over like, a Freya, a uh, Hey May Battle Maiden, you know, basically that. And then you would just try to high roll your way to the win. Um, so this could actually be more powerful than Shoop if your rolling skills are on point. <laughs> um, it's it's a pretty meme -y card. I don't think anyone would actually ever use it in Constructed, but... I thought it, it's it's like kind of a nice homage to the the game that's no longer, you know the the pre the pre Gwent game. So I came up with this. Uh, let me know what you think of this one. And then the other one I came up with. Um, this one's a little bit. I I think it's okay, but I think if it didn't get answered, it would probably just win you the game. Uh, but I came up with the knocker. Okay. So, at the end of your turn, the knocker's eight strength, and at the end of your turn, it would spawn a little one. If you read the books, like, Gerald kind of steps on a, he calls it a little one. It's a, I think it's a Barbagazzi. Um, but at the end of your turn, you would spawn one of these little ones, which is basically just a small, um... Barbagazzi, but it has resilience. It's two strength, two two strength resilience carryover. So, if this gets answered next turn, it 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 gave you a two strength, you know, resilient unit. If it doesn't get answered, it's going to keep piling them on. If you got frost, this thing's just going to get ate up by the frost every turn. So, it kind of answers frost, but frost keeps it from having carryover. And it's eight strength, so lightning can kill it in one turn. Um, I figured if, you know, there's there shouldn't be a reason why this thing should just go off like crazy while you're sitting here buffing up stuff or putting resilient stuff on the board. And it would be on the same row. I didn't put it on the same row, but, um, yeah, it would just kind of like chain down pretty much the way Draug works, except one at the end of every turn it would spawn one of these little guys. Um... I don't know. I think this one, I think it's fair. I mean, you're, 
you're possibly getting a bunch of carryover, but in the long, I mean, like this thing is set up for so many things. I mean, it's a target for battle or, you know, battering rams, uh, all kinds of stuff can just knock this out. But if it stays on the board, you know, you got, it's like any other carryover. If it stays on the board, it's going to be a problem. So, um, that's what I came up for this one. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I thought the knocker was pretty cool. I almost put a little bottle of vodka in his hand because I guess he smells like vodka. Um, but uh, those are the two cards I came up with this week. Let me know what you guys think. And like I said, if you guys have any cards that you've made that you want me to go over, let me know. I'll be happy to check them out and uh, see if I can find any holes in them or if I think they're good or bad. But uh, like always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.